Okay, very good. Well, welcome to four public comments at this time. I've got uh, first on the list is Nancy Bradley. Nancy, would you like to come forward? Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. I'm here on behalf of Super Spush. Um, we'd like to, for it to stay in the community. It is a viable, important part of the family activities in Raytown. It is the only thing that is wholly just for the family. It's not a single sport thing. And we would really appreciate it if you would keep in mind how important it is to the community. Thank you. Thanks. Next we've got Debbie Blue. Hi, I'm here to address Super Splash issue as well. Um, I've been a lifelong resident of Raytown and my children are being raised in Raytown too. And I have two of them here today with me. And they, I grew up swimming at Raytown Pool and now Super Splash. My children have grown up swimming at Super Splash and have even been employed by Super Splash. And I know that the community that goes to Super Splash and uses it, it's, it's vital that we keep this open in Raytown. We, I find myself so many times wanting to live in Raytown, but it's really a struggle because I find myself leaving Raytown to do things where it'd be nice to have those opportunities here in Raytown. And the pool would be one of them. We don't have those pools. We have Woodson Village, which is a small, small community pool, and we have Southbrook. And again, it's in decay. So we really need to think about what we're offering young families in the community. What makes Raytown, Raytown are the places that families can go and teenagers to have jobs. If you go down Raytown Road in the summertime, you'll see a lot of teenagers walking to Super Splash. Those are great jobs for them. They learn life skills that they can't get anywhere else. So I'm just asking you, please consider funding it. Thank you. Thank you. Amy Weaver. Welcome, Amy. Hi. Nice shirt. Thank you. Um, I'm also here about Super Splash. I've been a Raytown resident for 17 years now. Um, I've been at the pool since I can remember. My kids have grown up at that pool. My oldest has wanted to work there forever, and finally, this coming summer, she'll be old enough to be a guard. And so when she heard that they were closing down, she you know, said, Mom, go up there. So here I am. Um, it's just a big part of our community. And as she said before, there are lots of things that I constantly see myself going to Lee Summit for. And I really don't want to be at Summit Waves. I want to be at Super Splash. You know, my kids are there. We've had season passes for the last 10 years. You know, it's something that my kids can do every day to the point that during the summer my, my suit stays in my car. My kids go to the pool with the nanny when I get off work, that's where I go and they, so it's just, it's a real, it's an important part of our lives. It's, important, it's an important part of our community. My kids have been swimming at that pool from birth. You know, my youngest son started swimming, he was on his own scaring lifeguards at two years old. So, you know, he's always had his birthday parties there. It's just a big part of our lives. And without that, there's not anything to do in the summertime here in Raytown. Thank you. Thank you for coming out tonight. <coughs> Next, I got Jessica. Jessica, I don't know if it is a Weller. Wexler. Wexler, okay. Jessica Wexler. I'm here as far as the super splash as well that a few points that I wanted to make sure is first in the summertime where do we want our kids going because otherwise with the YMCA being closed down there's nothing in Raytown any longer for our kids to do um, as well as the fact that they had mentioned as far as Lee Summit that I know with our community center and everything looking, trying to figure out what to do next year, those are the only options is to move outside of Raytown. That we need to be able to do something that's 
you know, generating funds here. Whether we need to do something in regards to volunteering, some type of campaign to raise money for it. And I'm not stuck that it has to be Super Splash. My thing is we need either Super Splash or we need the YMCA building, but we need something open and available for teenagers to be doing. And that's the biggest key is they, we need something for them to be doing because if they're not doing something positive with adult supervision, then they're doing things we don't want them to be doing. That the more active we can keep them. And right now with the Ray South, I know in Raytown, there are swim teams that my niece just joined. We're busing them over to Lee Summit because we don't have a pool here any longer for them to use. So we're putting a lot more money out of our pockets and into other places versus trying to look about what we can do within our community to correct the situation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All very strong points. Would anyone else in the audience like to address the board of aldermen at this point in time? Michael? <coughs> Welcome, Michael Downing. Michael Downing, Raytown. Uh, the only thing I would say is I would actually think about expanding it. The one thing we lack that's critical for our seniors at the Y is a warm water, easy entrance pool. A lot of our seniors with arthritis and such, this is the only way they can really get exercise in and stay healthy. And this is an anonymity that Raytown at present without the Y uh, lacks. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> Anyone else at this time? Hi, I'm Maddie Lukey. I've worked at Super Splash for five years now. It was my first job out of when I was in high school. I wasn't always enthusiastic that I had to go to work, but coming out of it, I've learned that it's made me a better person. It set me up for success in the future because we're looking at this as a starting job for high school students, even younger as they can work at 14 as a pool attendant. But I know that it's helped me get other jobs outside of Super Splash. It's helped me get an internship at a hospital over the summer because it teach me, teaches me vital safety skills. It teaches you customer service. It teaches you how to be able to talk to people that you might not get to interact with every single day. Um, another thing that I think that's really important that Super Splash offers is swim, swim, lesson, swim lessons for younger children. Um, an example is I taught two children that had Asperger's for two summers and they were able to get affordable swim lessons where they might not have to get them, where they might not be able to get them somewhere else. And I know that the rates that Super Splash offers for swim lessons is something that you cannot get anywhere else. And so we're setting our teenagers up for success by giving them these jobs. And we're also setting our children up for putting them in these swim lessons so that they'll be able to go to the pool and have safe a safe time there, and then they'll, they also learn safety lessons and life lessons while they're there. Thank you. Thank you very much, man.